Hey guys, sorry for the lack of videos. My parents are visiting and just because I decided to plug in a mouse, I've been really struggling with <laughs> getting my whole setup working. I uh, keep on running into these crazy, crazy um, USB problems. USB, I really hate it. Uh, but now it's working and you should be hearing me clearly, seeing me clearly and um, and a viewer and if you have your own questions please send them in. A viewer has asked me two questions so what are they? Number one, how does one copy and paste without a mouse? That is a damn good question. NeoVim, the new Vim has some sort of oops, it has some sort of uh, clipboard integration but ultimately, what happens is that you 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 echo foo bar into xclip, and uh, that's that's the way that's the way I generally do it uh, myself actually. So without um, and and then I mean you could use nvim to call into it, and you could probably configure normal vim to do it, but that's the way I actually copy into my clipboard without using. Um, uh, and obviously you can use xclip o to, to exit that and that should also appear in my clipboard manager see foobar foobar so that's the way I do it and it kind of sucks wouldn't you agree um, but I haven't come up with a, an alternative uh, and if you do let please let me know um, obviously this doesn't work when you're on a remote machine so what I do on remote machines sometimes is I go echo blah 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 into I usually have a this thing called a, a, an, a, an alias P and what does P do? P P P P P P is on my should be on my I have no idea where that is. <laughs> How do you find uh well anyway that cat bin okay that that's all that P does. So basically Obviously, when you're on a remote machine, you can't interface with a clipboard. So what I end up doing is just putting it in a paste bin. And sometimes I actually just, you know, on my local machine, I end up using a paste bin just because I can't be bothered to think, am I on a local machine or a remote machine? I can't remember. So I just end up using paste bins. And that's kind of crazy because if someone kind of, if I start like, I don't know, copying, pasting something sensitive, then someone could probably read it. Uh, with this pacement because this pacement just increments I believe I know it's uh, I've just told you a bad solution then I told you now a bad and insecure solution but <laughs> works on remote machines doesn't it okay next question and if you come up better please let me know how does one scroll the terminal ah yes how does one scroll the terminal so let's let's use my mouse wheel here oh it doesn't work so what happens is I run Tmux locally and on my remote machine. So and now I have to remember, am I local, am I remote? Um, if I'm local, then I go control A and left square bracket and then I go up, down. Page up, page down. Um, and if I'm remote, I have to remember to go control B bracket. Control B bracket. Control A. Uh, oh, that's because I'm not running Tmux um, on that. Okay, so uh, control. B, so let's see that that works. Okay, and I haven't integrated the mouse wheel, and it sucks. So it's uh, not a great solution. And but I think it's a starting point. And if you can do better, you should let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, guys. I thought I should mention I should that you can patch suckless terminal so that it can have a history and, and all that stuff works but why don't I do that I don't do that because when I uh, I like to have to use tmux sessions and I like to have history sort of and I used I use tmux in different windows all the time so I like to have everything in its own window and so and so I don't feel the need to patch the suckless terminal Thanks for watching guys, please like, please subscribe.